Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about the second program I run in my video where I score 550 points this year. In this program, we deliver Noah the Sound Engineer to music concert. We also deliver an audience member there. We're going to open up the craft creator. We're going to do the virtual reality artist, the hologram performer, and finally, both the lights and the speakers from the music concert lights and sounds mission. The first thing to talk about is actually the path the robot takes to this music lights and concert area. The robot goes straight out to the sound stage. Now, most teams I've seen have the robots drive out and then turn to aim at the sound stage and then drive out again. With all the mechanisms positioned at an angle relative to the robots, the robot could just drive straight out, and these already angled mechanisms would square perfectly with the stage. So the robot just drives forward to accomplish the hologram performer. But all the other scoring systems are actually a lot more interesting. For the lights, the robot has a spinning stick that whacks down the orange lever, focusing the lights on the hologram performer. For the speakers, the robot doesn't actually push the lever over. I've never actually seen another team do this, but the robot spins the gear for the speakers on the other side of the stage, which indirectly turn the lever over. My testing found that using a large wheel to grab the gear was much more effective well, than using a gear and the large wheel gave the robot plenty of room for error to engage that gear. To dump Noah and audience member, the robot has a long stick that just lifts up part of the dumper, which releases the audience member and Noah, the sound engineer. But wait, the robot left all of this behind, yet somehow powered this mechanism? The long stick isn't actually attached to the dumping mechanism, so the robot won't have any problems detaching on this side. The music concert mechanisms and the virtual reality artist mechanism spin at the same time because they're both run by the same motor. And this is okay because the virtual reality artist mechanism can spin as much as it needs to. And by the time the virtual reality artist mechanism does need to be used, the music, concert, lights, and sounds mechanisms are actually off of the robot and not important anymore. For the lights and speakers mechanism on the other side of the attachment, there's actually a gear that has an axle that pokes into the mechanism. Now this gear engages with some other gears, which simultaneously spin both the wheel that spins the speakers, lever, and the stick that whacks down the lights. As you can see, this gear was designed to be able to be pulled out of the mechanism in order for the robot to be able to separate. Now to the virtual reality artist and the craft creator. Upon arrival, the robot will do two things. First, it'll drop the arm that dumped Noah and the audience member onto the lid of the craft creator. Now, there's a hook on the arm that will grab the lid, and as the robot will back away, it lifts the lid of the craft creator. Also, there is a spinning wheel that engages with the knob gear on the side of the virtual reality artist mission model. And this will spin the chicken around on the mission model until it gets past the lavender dot. Notice how I went for the knob gear. I've seen many people choose to go for the other gear, and I felt this is difficult to actually get out, both to actually have a gear that would engage properly, but also the knob gear actually is more isolated from the rest of the mission model, which means that any mechanism that engages the knob gear is less likely to bump into something else on the way there. Alright, thank you for watching. This was actually my favorite of all the attachments I made for the 550 point robot video. 
If you liked it as much as I did, please do leave a like on the video, share it with your friends, and also feel free to hire me on Fiverr if you want me to help your team succeed at the competition. Finally, because championships are starting to come up and some of you still have qualifiers in my next video, I will share how to practice for your competition. Thank you for watching.